Marty. I want you to help me. I'm a bit confused this week. I'm not sure which colour I should be wearing. Does anybody know? Anyone got any ideas? Hmm, yeah, let me see. Could it be perhaps this colour? Oh, makes me a bit dizzy, this does. Is that the right colour? Oh, God, I'm going to have a headache, I am. Uh, is this the right colour? Oh, I'll definitely have a headache after this. Yes, this is the right colour. It's the right colour because we're remembering Palm Sunday. We're remembering when Jesus went into Jerusalem on a donkey and everybody cheered him. We're remembering the week when he died on the cross. That's what this week is about, the end of Lent. And we're leading towards Easter. And we remember Jesus going into Jerusalem and the palm branches waving. This is the family mass. I'm Father Peter and the word this week is praise. Well, now it's the time for our shout outs. Welcome to all of you who are here and especially those from these schools. Four new schools this week. Isn't that wonderful? St Bernadette's at Yardley, St Peter's at Blockswich, Holy Redeemer at Pershaw and Our Lady of St Humans at Oldbury. You are very, very welcome. To those are added, the schools who've been watching for some time, you are very, very welcome too. And they are St George and St Martin in Birch's Head, St John the Evangelist in Kidsgrove, St Nicholas in Sutton Coalfield, St Thomas More in Great Worley, St Mary's Catholic Primary School in Cannock, Carmel Griffin Catholic College in Cannock, St Mary's in Wensbury, St Teresa's in Wolverhampton, St Anthony's in Wolverhampton, St Anne's in Streetly, St Joseph's in Lichfield, Christ the King, King Standing, St Francis of Assisi, Shellfield, St Wollstone's in Wollstanton, St John Fisher, Newcastle under Lyme, St Thomas Aquinas in Stoke, Faber School in Cotton, and Our Ladies Catholic Academy in Fenton, you are very, very welcome. This is the Family Mass. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Well, the word this week is praise, and we hear the story in just a few moments, it'll be, where the people wave their branches off the trees to praise Jesus as he entered into the city, the city of Jerusalem. What a wonderful day that must have been. When we are praised, we feel happy, and when we praise God for his goodness, we feel happy too, but, but, sometimes we're angry, bitter, nasty, jealous. 
And that doesn't make us happy at all. So as we begin Mass now, we ask God to forgive us for the bad things that we do so that we can be happy with him and other people again. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Lord, have mercy. You taught us how to forgive each other. Christ, have mercy. You love everyone and you show us how to be kind. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. In our opening prayer now for the Mass, we praise Jesus for his courage and for his love. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given Jesus to us as an example of humility by giving his life for us on the cross. Help us to follow his patient suffering so that we may share in his resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now we have the readings from the Bible and today they tell us how people praised Jesus when he went into the city but they also remind us that he was going to a place which was dangerous too. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the wearied. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear to listen like a disciple. The Lord opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance. Neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against the insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? All who see me deride me. They curl their lips, they toss their heads. He trusted in the Lord, let him save him. Let him release him if this is his friend. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? They divide my clothing among them. They cast lots of might for my robe. O oh Lord, do not leave me alone. My strength, make haste to help me. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I will tell of your name to my brethren and praise you where they are assembled. You who fear the Lord, give him praise. All sons of Jacob, give him glory. Revere him, Israel's son. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Christ was humbly yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all names. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. And now we hear the story of how the crowd cheered Jesus when he travelled into the big city of Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus and his disciples were on the way to Jerusalem, they came to the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of his disciples into the nearby village to collect a donkey. He said to them, if anybody stops you, tell them that it's for the Lord and that the donkey will be returned. So the disciples set off and they found the donkey. When they untied it from its post, some people said to them, what are you doing? The disciples answered, just as Jesus had told them. And the people let the disciples take the donkey to Jesus. And then Jesus Road into Jerusalem. People were spreading their cloaks 
and palm branches like this on the road in front of him. And they praise God saying, Hosanna, blessings on him who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. The gospel of the Lord. So let's think about praise. Can you remember a time when somebody praised you? Can you remember what good thing they praised you for? How did their praise make you feel? Think about this for a moment. If you can, pause the video. Well, praise makes us feel happy. It gives us encouragement. It makes us feel needed or wanted or loved. It makes us want to do the good thing we were praised for again and do it even better. And it's not just getting praise that makes us happy, you know, but giving praise does too. Never forget to praise other people. And don't forget to praise God too. That can put a smile on your face. There are so many things that we can praise God for. We can praise him for our life, which comes from him. We can praise him for everything that's beautiful in the world. We can praise him for the sunshine, the earth, all the people who live on it, the happiness he's given us, his word which lights up our minds, and our good friend Jesus, who loves us and who does great things for us and who never forgets us. Now, what about Jesus? Well, in the reading which we've heard just a few moments ago, we hear how the people praised Jesus as he rode into the city. They shouted, Hosanna, which means praise him. This must have really encouraged him because he had a very difficult time ahead of him. The people waved their palm branches and they <coughs> cheered him. But soon things would change. Just a few days later, a crowd also gathered round him and they booed him. They wanted him to die on the cross. Now, at this time of year, we have these things often, palm crosses. They're made from palm branches in the shape of a cross. And they remind us of the cheers of the crowd when Jesus went into the city and the people waved their palm branches. But they also remind us of the shouts and the boos when they said he must die on the cross. We need praise to help us face hard times in life. We need to praise God for his love and the strength he gives us. And we must always thank him for coming to live with us and to share our sadnesses as well as our happiness. God loves us so much that he came to live among us, to, to suffer for us, to give his life for us. So let's now pray for anybody we know who's suffering or sad in whatever way and ask God to help and comfort them. And if you want to and you can now, you can pause the video to think of those people. Now we praise God for giving us Mary, Our Lady, to pray for us and we prepare the bread and wine to be put on the altar for the Mass.
We praise God for all the gifts that he's given us, which this bread and wine stand for. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, through the suffering and death of Jesus, your Son, may we come closer to you, so that by his sacrifice we may know the fullness of your mercy and love, through Christ our Lord. Now we have the great prayer of the Mass. In this prayer we praise and thank God for his goodness to us and he gives to us the body and blood of Jesus. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God our Father, you brought us here together so that we can give you thanks and praise for all the wonderful things you've done. We thank you for all that's beautiful in the world and for the happiness you've given us. We praise you for daylight and your word which lights up our minds. We praise you for the earth and all the people who live on it and for our life which comes from you. We know that you're good, you love us, you do great things for us. Father, you're always thinking about your children. You never forget us. You sent us your son, Jesus, who gave his life for us and who came to save us. He cured sick people. He cared for those who were poor. And he cried with those who were sad. He forgave sinners and he taught us to forgive one another. He loved everyone and he showed us how to be kind. He took children in his arms and he blessed them. God, our Father, all over the world, your people praise you. So now we pray with the whole church, with Francis, our Pope, with Bernard, our Bishop. In heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Apostles and all the saints always sing your praise. So now we join with them and with the angels to adore you as we sing. <laughs> Father, you are most holy and we want to show you that we are grateful. We bring you bread and wine and ask you to send your Holy Spirit to make these gifts the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then we can offer to you what you have given to us. On the night before he died, Jesus was having supper with his apostles. He took bread from the table. He gave you thanks and praise. And then he broke the bread and gave it to his friends and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you and he gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We do now what Jesus told us to do. We remember his death 
and his resurrection. And we offer you, Father, the bread that gives us life and the cup that saves us. Jesus brings us to you. Welcome us as you welcome him. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Father, because you love us, you invite us to come to your table. Fill us with the joy of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of your Son. Lord, you never forget any of your children. We ask you to take care of those we love and we pray for all those who've died. Remember everyone who's suffering from pain or sorrow. Remember Christians everywhere and all other people in the world. We're filled with wonder and praise when we see what you do for us through Jesus, your Son. And so we give you praise through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. And now we praise, we hallow the Father in the prayer Jesus taught us all to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's praise God's goodness now by sharing his peace and his love. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
well, we've praised God, we've celebrated Mass together, but we've not been able to receive communion together today. So let's invite Jesus into our hearts, into our spirits, into our souls, as we say a prayer for spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I believe that you are with me in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you so much, and I want to receive you into my soul. I can't receive you in the sacrament today, so please come into my soul, and I will be with you forever. Amen. Let us pray. O oh Lord, you have fed us with these holy gifts, the death of Jesus gives us hope. By his resurrection, lead us to heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praising God brings happiness. It's what we were made for. How can you praise God this coming week? Perhaps you can think of all the good things that we've received from God. The beauty of the nature and creation, our homes, our families, our schools, our friends and say quiet prayers of thanks and praise for them all. And now, let's ask God to bless us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>